Morning watchers, Scott at SC Landscaping and I'll try to speak up because it's slightly windy um, but I'm just on another one of our jobs today at park and I thought I'd run you through the same again what we actually do in a park during the course of the year just to uh, give you a bit of an idea of more of the jobs and especially for commercial people going into work um, what councils are expecting so I'll spin you around and this is the entrance to the site what we have is large areas like this which get cut every 10 days we've got finer areas around the planted areas things that get boxed up weekly lavender hedges that get lavender shrub areas that get maintained um, sort of topped off at the end of the year now we've got a croquet lawn here that apart from cutting the grass we don't do anything on it's it's a uh, it's a croquet club who don't have any money or anything so it doesn't get anything done to it we have a formal hedge which i've shown on a previous video cut this a couple of times a year and shape it we lost a couple of balls a few years ago but they, they, we managed to start getting them back hence the different sizes they all used to be the same squares and stuff so that hedge gets a couple of visits a year coming back over We've got some tennis courts, which obviously we clean leaves out of and power wash off, all in the contract. And areas like this, I just put plants in just to fill gaps where we've split things on jobs. Did a video of this, bulb planting, if you look uh, probably about a year ago. And same again, conifers that I've had to spare off jobs. Just fill it in, just to fill gaps. If councils haven't got money to spend, if I can find plants for free, I'll put them in. Coming around here, same again, these used to be just bare areas. Filled them up with Hypericums, Nyphophia, Hypericums again, anything spare off jobs. Come around, play areas we maintain. I'm going to put a first cut on that in a minute with the little hater. First cut of the year. Like I say in the north, it's still wet got these informal hedges which this used to be a grass tennis court years ago so it's really flat now it just gets used as a bare area so same again 10 day cutting these I've done a video on I think got another nice new tennis court a couple of shrub areas and then as we come back around we have this building, we get paid to clear, empty the bins each day, we get paid to clean the toilets and we've got bedding plants, or lack of them. And if you look here, it is because this park is riddled with rabbits. Those are actually pansies. Now, funnily enough, the edge plants look great. They don't eat the bellus, the daisies, they only eat the pansies. But you can see, very little left of them. So there's nothing I can do about it. You do get people in to cull the rabbits and you come straight over and you've got polyanthus that are fine. So the council understand the problems we've got but there's very little we can do. Um, coming over, same again. When I first came here a couple of years ago there was a couple of conifers in here and nothing else. Over time I've split up Montbrecia, put in box, put in a load of daffodils put in bark mulch we've had spare off jobs so 90% of the stuff in that bed is something that I've done off my own back for free but it hasn't cost me anything because they're just plants I've had spare and that area there looks better than just a area where you'd weed kill or you'd uh, scrape over as we come back round lots more grass bare area, uh, large grass areas that we cut same round here and then we drop into the park next door which just gets uh, 16 cuts a year so just gives you a rough idea so just gives you a rough idea of another one of our parks that we maintain and what actually goes into um, what actually goes into visits anybody on the commercial side if you've got any questions if you're looking at parks like this if you've got any questions on any of the things we do and just drop me a line um, the other things we do for free is we'll edge footpaths we'll chuck moss on footpaths the all extras that 
we don't get paid for but we just do just to smarten things up and to keep the place tidy so try to do as much as we can and you get uh, hopefully you get rewarded at the end of the year or at the end of the contract by extensions and things so these tennis courts like I said they've been in a couple of years now but uh, they get power washed off each year we've actually got if you look at that we've actually got a few shrubs that won't prune them back out of the tennis courts uh, so that's a job somebody will have to get on with but overall it's one of our sites and like I say what you usually get with one of our sites is a nice tidy clean site so we've got a bunch of kiddies using this park later so plan is we've just got the little hater 41 out petrol version not our battery yet so we'll get a little bit of cutting done
tidy up but we just found another job that needs doing look at the moss the edge on here that hasn't been done so we shall uh, we shall need to address that and we'll talk about that in a minute so um, did I need to cut that play area um, third week in March the answer is no we're not contracted to do it till early April on these council contracts uh, I was asked to do it as a favour, it took 15 minutes. Uh, you got to look at the bigger picture on these jobs. That uh, since 2010, where are we at? 2010, in 
13 years I've had over a million pound off this customer and yes if I had it in the bank now I'd be quite happy <laughs> but no I've had over a million pound off this customer in 13 years so if you can do little things and extras and stuff it protects your long-term investment I've said it before and that's what I'm doing here so 15 minute job there just to keep people happy um, and it's job done the coming back to the finishing touches that I showed you at the end there um, when you have as many sites as I have you, it's it's difficult to manage it but it is my job to go around each job because people do miss things and that edging there is just basic edging that should be done on a regular basis and it, it looks as if it hasn't been done for a good few months um, towards the end of last year's growth so it's my failing for not following up which uh, there's no excuse for I should be following up um, and the plan is like I say this year more time and things like that don't get missed but it's things that uh, this year will be will be on the ball with and I'll just reiterate to staff that, um, that basically you need to be you need to be a bit more switched on with things and that's regular maintenance when you've got five ten minutes spare that's five ten minutes of work there that's that should be just done so um, it's it's going over things but it's keeping your sights tip top and that at the moment that sites 85% I've had a walk around there this morning and there's a few other things that they do so to take it from 85 to 97 which you'll never have 100 because sites will never be 100% tidy you could tidy your site the winds come and the paths are a mess again the next day so a site will never be 100% only at the time of you leaving it if you've done a proper job so the plan is to get it up to sort of 95 97 percent and we will be doing that over the next um we'll be doing that over the next few days of well of next week because it's friday today those little problems i've found will be sorted out straight away um, i've got a couple of sites that i'm going to visit now because what happens is when you you see things that have been missed it sets your mind going so i've got a couple more sites and i'm just going to pop around now just to see what the what the situation is and if there's anything missing that might be just a one-off to be fair because my staff are good um, the young girl who's, who works in that park uh, does a does a good job on the rest of the stuff so it might have just been been an oversight so we'll sort that out we'll have a look at the other jobs um, but with commercial sites when you're dealing with sort of I mean in that town there I've got 11 sites in that one town so it's it's a lot to go around um, when you're trying to balance in excess of 100 and 130 of the sites if you if you if you add them all up. So, but it's a, it's my job and it's, the book stops with me as a owner. So I've got to uh, I've got to make sure everything's on the ball. So we'll sort that out. Uh, just run over that with the here to 41. The battery here to 41 is the next investment of mine that will be coming shortly. Um, it'll be good to see how it uh, how it goes. I did test it at the social media open day down at um, Toro. Uh, good day out that was. I think you saw in a previous video. So we have used it before, and I do want one. So we'll get that and we'll give it a go, and uh, we'll put it up against the, the normal heat and see how things go. So thanks for watching. Like I said earlier in the video, any questions on commercial stuff, um, anybody going into commercial or anybody doing jobs like this, just drop me a message and I shall, uh, I shall be able to help you out with it. So thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.